Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to share your Looker Studio report with a client quickly and easily. Before we go there, please subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content and off we go. All you have to do is click on the edit button on the top right and you are going to find the share button. You're going to click the share button and here you can do a couple of things. First of all, you can type in a name. So for example, I'm going to type here my email and then I can give either view access or editor access. So editor access means that the user will be able to edit the report. Viewer access means that the user will only be able to view the report. The second thing that I can do I can come here without adding anybody and I can change this from restricted to public. Then I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to click on save. And now with this link, people can access the Looker Studio report. So if you go here to a browser and you paste that link, then people will actually land on this report and they will be able to see the report only see the report, not edit the report. Couple more things that you can do. You can go here again on next to the share button. You can click the little drop down menu and you can say, I want to schedule delivery. So you can say, I want to deliver this report to certain emails. For example, let's say my email here. And then you can specify if you want to share all the pages, if you want to share some of the pages, and you can also specify when do you want to share the report or everywhere. So for example, I want to share this report weekly, and I want to share this report weekly on maybe a Monday, right? So I'm going to change the start date here to Monday, and then I'm going to say, I want to share this report weekly on a Monday or you can select a custom time, for example, right? So you can say, I want to set this report every, let's say, week on a Friday, or maybe every two weeks on a Friday and so forth. Then you're going to save and that's all. Now, if you click the drop down menu, you can also find the reporting link. So you can get the reporting link and you can copy it. And then again, people will be able to see the report or you can basically click here and you can get the embedding if you want to embed this report in a website for example or in an intranet and the last thing that you can do is you can download the report either all the pages or some of these pages as a pdf and then you can manually share with the cloud so long story short here are the options number one you click on share, you give access to specific people by email. Number two, you change this to public, you save and then you share the link. Number three, you can schedule the report to go to your client at a certain time. So you can click here the drop down and you can schedule the delivery or you can download the PDF and you can share manually. There is also an option to embed this report in any website or internet. That's all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as usual, have a great day in any time zone. Thank you, everyone.